Now, the most obvious aspects of the storm that we experienced in 2020 and now continuing into 2021 is, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic. This category of diseases that we call emerging infectious diseases seem to be increasing through time. There's another crisis going on, which is the biodiversity crisis. Um, and we're really seeing uh, COVID as a kind of a symptom of that crisis. Science is very clear. People living in areas that have experienced higher levels of air pollution, such as that around the Cerrejón mine, face increased risk of premature, premature death from COVID-19. To have you know, 30 years worth of climate negotiations and to end up at this. There is the rise in awareness of racial discrimination, of systemic racial discrimination. We are sleepwalking through a period of the most gross human rights violations. Climate uh, change and climate justice is an intersectional issue because you have issues of race and gender and economic and social inequalities which are being compounded by climate change. The effects of the climate crisis even in the UK disproportionately affects my marginalised groups. Spatial injustice, urban planning, zoning, your zip code is a better predictor of health than your genetic code. We have a choice to disrupt this systematically and systemically by placing racial and social justice work inside of the climate justice fight, because these are very much interwoven. But there are also other aspects of, a, of the storm that we should not forget. The UK has been breaching the legal limit for toxic nitrogen dioxide pollution. The EU had a powerful mechanism for the enforcement of environmental legislation, therefore for the achievement of environmental goals. With Brexit, the whole mass of EU environmental law disappeared. We no longer have a sustainable development mission. We no longer have a powerful department of the environment. And there is huge concern uh, that the REP will lack the powers and the independence to do actually a good job at holding public bodies to account. We are privileged to be living in a country with huge resilience. Um, and we have an obligation to those who are finding life more and more and more difficult.